Welcome back to Novel Nomad, my name is Kate and today I'm going to be doing a review of the lovely Evelina by Frances Burney. Now I thought I don't technically have any 18th century outfits nor will I bishform my hair to such an extent that you won't even see it in the screen but I have a fan and that suits the cover so I thought good enough. It's always a good reason <laughs> to whip out a fan and it just looks pretty. So Evelina is a wonderful book to read. Not only is it a romantic comedy, it you can see the stereotypes of an early Austen at work in, in a sense. I can see this brought lots of influence to Austen in her works. Not only is there a character called Willoughby in it, but it, it, many scenes felt reminiscent of Austen and because I know Austen so well, it almost felt as if I was reading an earlier Austen in such. And of course it is very satirical read. It follows the life of Evelina, the early life of Evelina, and she is a beautiful lady from the country, young lady, and she goes to her friend and then her friend's mother wants to take them to London so they can at least experience before the season comes all these wonderful gaieties and activities that can be had in London. But of course Evelina being so beautiful she becomes the interest of many many admirers. One in particular Clement Willoughby who at first is very honourable but his intentions are a bit suspect as well and Evelina herself falls very much enamoured of a young gentleman called Lord Orville who is all respectability, all sensibility and all loveliness even if he is fairly prejudiced, <coughs> Darcy, <coughs> a little. To begin with, he is very, very lovely towards the end. The writing itself is in a letter format. This was considered very popular for novels back in the late 18th century. Austen herself was one of the few revolutionaries as such using a third person verse, but the reliance upon letters to convey character intentions different plot lines was considered a very easy and respectable way to write novels back in the late 18th century but it also adds a level of correspondence so like you, you feel that you are connected to them because they're sharing their deepest darkest thoughts with you. The world itself is wonderful I have studied this period of history so I absolutely adored it. You could explore the Vauxhall Gardens, all the different uh, stage and theatre things that were going on at the time in London and considering it is a very old London, it is before the big revolutionary changes and the big Regency building started to make a foothold in London. It, Evelina was a lovely creation of the time. She is very much a girl in her time. Many of the things obviously I wouldn't have agreed with, but she does have some pluck and some nerve, especially for women at the time who had just considered that they didn't have much of an opinion. Evelina certainly kept her opinion, but she never really knew much in the way of society and the graces that she needed. So she was always making faux pas or doing something wrong and then feeling terrible about it. So I did get a little bit annoyed with that after a while because many things she would be detrimental to herself in the long run, but it still turned out well in the end, so I was happy. Many of the side characters held a very classic image of the time. You had the very noisome and boyish uh, captain who kept butting into everyone's lives and always wanted to play a good joke on people and was always loud and angry and grrr. And um, then you had all the French connections which were considered to be disgusting and there was that repulsion of the French that uh, and the lower classes that uh, Evelina was related to them. She was ashamed of them all the time but they kept doing things that clearly society would have considered very shameful indeed so they they pitied Evelina in her poor relations because she was a beautiful woman being dragged down by the uh, spitefulness of her relations and their disgrace. So I thoroughly enjoyed Evelina. It did have a wonderful feel to it. It did take a, a quite a long time. I wasn't expecting how long it would take me to read because it is a very, for me, it was a slow, methodical read. I, I wanted to experience what all the characters were experiencing. 
and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I am reading it as part of my 2006 classics challenge because I do have a lot of classics on my shelf that I want to read this year and this one was the number one one that I wanted to get off the list and I was so happy I read it because I had so much fun. So I definitely and thoroughly enjoyed Frances Burney's wonderful novel of Beautiful Girl in the time of the late 18th century. So thanks for joining me guys. I hope to see you all next time. Bye. Need to practice that. I would have failed miserably in the 18th century. I have absolutely no fan language. I know how to flutter. That that's all my fan language knows and and closing it is terrible. <laughs>